Uh, but they were having these people on from this TV show. What's that TV show? Uh, Ed Lasso. Uh, Ed Lasso, right? Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. Oh, Lasso. my yes. God. The ultimate white people show? Go ahead. And so, and so here's how you handled that. Yeah, right. You're right. You're here for me. Right for me. No, 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 no. No, that's not. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. <laughs> Now, what are you trying to ask her here? Yeah, so um, I, I just realized the hypocrisy. So I've been in that briefing room for nine months. She doesn't call on me, doesn't call on journalists. And then she brings all these people to, you know, talk about uh, issues that, you know, great issues. But she brings actors and all kinds of people to the briefing room to brief us when she doesn't actually take questions from me. Wait, Simon. And I was, oh. What what issues? Uh, what issue? What reason would they possibly have to bring the the, the cast of Ted the, Lasso to the goddamn? To, what 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 would they possibly be talking about? No, no. You can take them to the White House to meet maybe with the president, but for them to come to the White House briefing room when inflation is skyrocketing, uh, the you know the yes. war in Ukraine is you know consuming billions of dollars and there are challenges in Ethiopia and different places and so those are the questions that we want to ask and China is expanding Russia is expanding uh, African countries are running away from the US because of the way the US treats African and so here we are we have actors and they are well dressed and she brings them to the white house to you know uh, brief us okay so let's listen to it Again, some people in the briefing and I'm saying that this is the US this is not China this is not no Russia. This is not Russia. Okay. What you are doing, you are making a monkey of the first America. So what you're saying, this isn't Russia, this isn't China. We're supposed to be able to ask questions. We're supposed to be yeah. talking about serious things. And you won't add, you hadn't called on you for nine months, but you're gonna yeah. bring in a bunch of actors and they're gonna yeah, talk exactly. now. Well they're yeah. advocating for equal pay for women in soccer. I think that's a little <laughs> pressing. It's Ted Lasso. It's been seven months. You've not called on me. No, my message I'm saying that does not right. Fun times. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the press briefing room. Okay. Are we ready? Are we going to behave? Oh, my God. While many <laughs> folks... Forum, please. It was discussion and, on mental health. I swear to God. That's what, that's what they were there to they talk about. the cast of Ted, Ted Lasso, Lasso to talk about mental health. I feel like I'm going crazy right now. Yeah, and so and, and 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 for people watching now to really understand the the level of hypocrisy, you know, there was a shooting after after this briefing, and there was a, a shooting after this briefing, and the White House was trying to focus on the guns. You know, we need to take away the guns, and people were saying, but this person had mental health, and we say, no, we need to focus on the guns. If so, you realize that even though they brought these people to the White House to talk about mental health. They actually didn't care about the topic. Uh, and, yeah, but, that's uh, right. Yeah. Guns are the number one cause of mental health problems, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, Simon, we wish you good luck in your uh, lawsuit, the First Amendment lawsuit, to get back your credentials to go into the White House press briefing room. Uh, does it feel, uh, but it must feel good that it's a black woman of color who's a gay and an immigrant mm -hmm. who's trying to squash your First Amendment rights rather than a white person, right? Yeah, I think she she just broke up with her girlfriend who used to work for CNN. So I don't know, maybe <laughs> oh. if, she find, if she finds a new girlfriend or maybe a new wife, maybe she will be happier and she will call on me. I pray, I pray she finds joy and love and <laughs> understand and respect the law. So tell people where they can find your work. Uh, just find me on Twitter on X. <laughs> He's so hard for us to remember. Just at Simon at paper or go to todaynewsafrica.com. Okay, thank you so much for coming on. You're welcome to come back anytime. And uh, it's been real fun talking to you. Hey, we're doing stand-up comedy in Covina, California, Burbank, California, the day after Thanksgiving, Oxnard, California, Venice, California, Palmdale, California, lots of places in the Southland. Uh, Omaha, Nebraska. We're going to be in Omaha. We're going to be in Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington. Plus, we're going to be in Boston, the Wilbur Theater in Boston. See you there. Mm -hmm.